Hello everyone, today we're looking at my current setup for my Mocha network. As you can see, I've got five or six lines coming into the splitter, five, five lines to be exact. One line right here is the actual internet cable coming in, and then from there it gets split off into four other areas of the, of the house. And I'm using an Amphenol 8-port splitter, any extra ports that I'm not using, as you can see I've got the we I've got them capped and sealed off because they're not being used and I don't want any additional interference coming in on the network. So the purpose of this particular splitter right here was to allow one to get rid of the PoE injector coming in this because this particular one has a built-in PoE injector and in addition I was also running into a problem where I was getting too much noise, too much interference, lack of signal going to the main line which is where the cable modem was. So this particular splitter handles that difference by doing a very low noise, high efficiency split between this one and the other lines going through the rest of the house. So in that sense, I got rid of all those splitters. I got rid of the PoE injector and I got this nice little guy and it's working absolutely wonderful. So thank you to those people out on Small Net Builder for, refer for referencing me this particular splitter. It's been working great. Okay, now at this point we're in the main computer room and you can see this is where I have the, the main cable coming into the computer room. This cable line comes all the way over and it goes into the splitter. The reason for that is because I wanted one line to go to the computer, or I should say one line go into the modem, the other line go into the router, which over there you'll see, I'll show you in a second here. So as you can see, I've got one line going into my Netgear router and the other line, which I'll move here, is going into my co my Go Coax modem. While for the Ethernet, and then this line goes up to the router here. So as you can also see, I got rid of my old router, which was an Edge router four, and instead I went to the Ubiquity. UDM base, which I have a love-hate relationship with currently. Um, I don't recommend getting it right now. Wait for the bugs to come out. But the network comes in from the Go Coax adapter over to the router, and that allows me to send the internet through the rest of the house. Okay, now downstairs in the main living room, we also have the other end of the Go Coax modem adapter right back there as you can see and we have a internet line coming all the way down over to this little area here where i have another ubiquity switch and that feeds my nvidia shield for my tv so it's all running ethernet and then over here i also have my ubiquity unify you know flex hd access point which is running Ethernet through the house as well as the UDM base, which you just saw. So that's how my entire network is set up now. And I, kind of, and I like it. It works really well. I've had no problems with the Go Coax connections. I've had no problems with noise. The only thing I've actually had a problem with is Ubiquity's UD, UD, UDM base, which I'm constantly having to reboot. So that's why I'm saying for now, just hold off and wait for patches to come out. Thank you.